Hi, I'm Tzachi Levent Levy of Blog Geek Me, and this time we're going to talk about advanced video coding using SVC, scalable video coding. We'll start off where we started last time, and that's that live video is really, really hard, and you need to understand that it is even harder in larger groups. By larger groups, I mean video conferences, group video calls, multi-party video calls, call it whatever you like. At the end of the day, it is multiple people, multiple participants, joining a single session together. And to do that these days, we use a server called an SFU, a media server that is called Selective Forwarding Unit, where we have multiple participants, in this drawing, five of them, that are going to send their media towards the server. The server is going to receive that media and it's not going to process it. The only thing it is going to do is to route that media back to the participants. So each user now is sending one media stream and receiving four media streams from all other participants. It works great, it scales nicely, but it has one challenge. And that's that since the media is sent toward the server and the server does nothing with it besides routing it, the quality that we end up with is determined by all of the users together. So if we've got one user, for example, that comes with a low-end CPU or has bad network connection, then we can do one of two things. Either decide that he's not going to play at all or he's going to receive a really bad experience or that we're going to reduce the bit rates and to reduce the quality for everyone so that they get the same experience. Okay, now there are advanced techniques to mitigate that. The common one today is called simulcast. And in simulcast, what we do is we've got each one of the participants sent to the server multiple video streams. Okay, so we're not going to send only one video stream and then the media server can only route that to the next user. We're going to receive multiple streams and now the server can decide which stream to send to which participant. So if you've got someone coming from a high-end machine with a very good network, he's going to receive the 1080p resolution, the highest bitrate that we have available. He's going to get the best quality. And if you've got a user coming in from a low-end handset device or over a bad network, then we're going to send him the lowest bitrate available with the lowest resolution, 360p in this example. This way we can mitigate the problem. The only downside to it is that the user needs to send three different bit rates. It needs to take the same video stream and encode it three times. It requires more CPU and more network in order to do that. Another technique that we have is called SVC or scalable video coding. And I want you to envision an onion and an onion has its own rings, and you can go and peel an onion ring by ring. These are the layers. Scalable video coding works by different layer, when you only use the layers that you need each time. What does that mean exactly? It means now that if we've got the server and the device, the user that needs to send the data out, he is going to send a single bit stream, a single video stream, with multiple layers in it. In this case, I decided on layers of resolution, 360p, 720p, and 1080p. But it's a single, a single piece of data that is being sent as a stream. Okay? Now, the, the server can look at this, at this stream, and he sees the layers, the layers inside them. He can decide, again, in front of a high-end machine, to send everything. And then you get the 1080p resolution. Towards a different device that has you know, less of a bitrate to work with or less of a CPU power, it can decide to peel one of these layers and only send one or two layers into that device. This way, the server can decide what to send to whom, and the user that created the, the bitstream sends only what it needs once. It encodes once and not multiple times. So it makes better use of its CPU. When we look at these layers of SVC, it has different building blocks to make them. The first and simple one is temporal. Temporal means that each layer is going to increase the frame rate on top of the previous layer. 
I can start with a layer with two or four or five frames per second, for example. Then the next layer will increase it to 15, and the next layer will increase it to 30 or to 60 frames per second. We can use spatial building block in SVC, and with spatial, what we are going to do is to increase the resolution in each layer on top of the previous one. This is what we've seen in the previous slide, where the base layer was 360p, the next layer increased that to 720p, and the third layer went to full HD in 1080p. The third alternative is to go to SNR, single to noise ratio, where each layer is going to increase the quality of the data being sent on top of the previous layer. Think about it as a JPEG image that you download from the internet and it gets better in quality the more you wait for it. It happens sometimes on, on low networks. Now, one thing to remember about SVC and the layers in SVC is that you can mix and match between these building blocks in each and every one of the layers. Okay, so a layer can increase bitrate and quality or increase frame rate and bitrate or whatever you want to do, and we can have multiple layers in there. And the second thing is you can add protection to certain layers in order to increase the resiliency of these layers. So that if we've got a bad network, we protect at least the best layers, the base layers, so we get decent quality in bad networks also. Now, I want to end, and before that, I'll, I'll, I want to remind you one thing. When we run on top of the network, we are not in control which means that sometimes we'll be capable of using SVC. Where SVC is not available, we can then go and use Simulcast instead, or even use without Simulcast or SVC. These are just tools that we can use to build our service. The more tools we have, the more power and flexibility we've got in what we are doing. Thank you, and see you in our next video on how to pick a live video platform.